And we're joined now by Cindy Hansen, a candidate for Anoka County Board of Commissioners, District 6. Cindy, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much for Good inviting to, me. Good to have you back here in our studios. Uh, running for this opening, this is, it's a vacancy on the, on the commissioners right now uh, in District 6. Um, you were just here a year ago uh, running for, again, for re-election to Spring Lake Park Mayor. And not even a year in, you've made a move. You decided to leave that post and run for this job. What about yes. that? Are, are, are there questions that you're hearing about that? Is there anything that you want to address about that move? Uh, sure. What would you like to say about I it? I would love to. Actually, what happened was six years ago, my husband found his dream monster garage yeah. in Lionel Lakes with a beautiful home. And I was mayor of Spring Lake mm -hmm. Park at that time. I felt like I could not leave the projects behind at that time. I made a commitment. They were in the works. I wanted to see them through. And I talked to our administrator at the time, and he said, you know, there's no issue with this as long as you spend 51% of your time in Spring Lake Park. And I was more than happy to do so. Um, I wanted to see those projects through. I felt I owed it to the residents. And I was very, very proud of what we accomplished. I love driving through Spring Lake Park now and seeing what it looked like 10 years prior to me being mayor. Well, not um, an easy decision for you. We saw the emotion no, in the council no. meeting. We, we, I can sense even now talking to you about it, it. Not an easy decision. That actually was the hardest part was resigning after um, just being reelected. But when this vacancy came up, I felt like everything that we, I had set out to do as mayor, I had either accomplished or it was in the works. Um, mm -hmm. And so I resigned and my husband's thrilled because now <laughs> we're moved to the Lionel Lakes property that we have owned for six years. Okay, all right. Now it's District 6. Now there's yeah. this, like I said, this vacancy there on the mm -hmm. county board. What is it about District 6 relative to the rest of Anoka County, which mm -hmm. I know you're familiar with in your previous roles and in living in both places? What do you, what's unique about District 6 that you in this position would like to highlight or perhaps help support and grow uh, or even best represent on a county level? This district is so unique. We have big cities, little cities, rural areas, and we have the only township that is left mm -hmm. in Anoka County. I have went to council meetings, workshops, uh, board meeting mm -hmm. up in, in Linwood, um, and talked to residents and um, council mm -hmm. and board members. I, I can't express how different each meeting even was run and the, the uh, different things with each city or township that make them unique. And I just fell in love with all the differences that there are, but then there's still a, a lot that we have in common. And that you feel like on a county level, this person in this job needs to represent that, but are there ways to really bring that to the fore to help the county as a whole? Yes, yes, I, I really think that there are, well, actually, I feel like all the districts in the county, if we could work together to form a stronger county, we'd be better off for state aid, federal aid. And even though there's different sides, there's different things that are important to each district, I just believe that we can work together as a whole. Okay. Something also unique to District 6 is the recent announcement, or at least in 2019, that Anoka and Washington County is working together. Connexus yes. Energy is involved in this Minnesota Tech Corridor right there along 35E and making sure that the, it's presented as a great option for industry to, uh, to locate there and to maybe even thrive there and, and continue economic mm -hmm. development there. What can you do as a leader of District 6 to best facilitate that to best draw attention to that and, and make that flourish the best it can? Great question. This area is so exciting. A thousand acres, uh, prime location, 30 minutes from the cities. Um, I th 
think it is so important to have someone in the position at the county level that has uh, leadership, experience, um, and like you know, I've, I have that experience, nine years of that experience, balancing budgets, prioritizing, negotiating, working with people, and I feel that what is most important is listening to people and being able to work things out. And, and I hope I can spend a little time to give you a, a good example of mm -hmm. that. The High V Re um, Development Project that I brought to Anoka County in, through Spring Lake Park came to a screeching halt mm -hmm. when MnDOT changed their mind. They had given the green light mm -hmm. to High V and then Hy-Vee proceeded, and then MnDOT said, whoa, we've changed our mind. There are some things right. we don't like. Right. I was able to meet with Hy-Vee, meet with MnDOT, and express to MnDOT how vitally important this Hy-Vee was for the area. And we sat at the table, we came together, and we resolved the issues that MnDOT had. And I'm very, very proud of that, and I can foresee issues like that coming up in this corridor okay. and I think you really need someone with that experience and with that patience. This didn't happen overnight. It was a process um, and I just believe I'm the right candidate to do that. Okay, yeah, that's, it's, the Tech Corridor, a long-range project, mm -hmm. wide open at this point, you know, with a lot of forethought put into it, but as you're saying, the leadership could be in place to facilitate those conversations. Exactly. Okay. Another conversation, that, that's about in industry and commercial growth, but residential growth, I, I think it's safe to say, and maybe not a presumption, that residential growth is going to happen, it continues to happen, it's not gonna mm -hmm. stop. You know, the economy may affect that, obviously, but what can you do within District 6 and then within the county board as a whole to best facilitate that? Because it's going to happen, and there are mm -hmm. some constraints, geography or, or development or infrastructure, but are there ways that you can keep an eye on that or, or best facilitate residential growth within the district and within the county? I think having great relationships with the councils <clears throat> in each of those cities or um, township mm -hmm. is, will be very, very important. And I'm, I'm happy to say that I have established great relationships along with wonderful working relationships with um, commissioners. I've worked uh, on projects with Commissioner Brasted, Schulte, Kordiak, when mm -hmm. Kordiak was right. on um, Meisner, West, and even Sivaraja. Yeah, it's a changing face on the board, right? Mm -hmm. Because Mr. Kordiak's gone now, and then Mandy Meisner in his mm -hmm. place, and now this opening. So it's a changing face. Yes, that's politics. Yes, that's the natural growth of politics and within a county, but there seems to be an opportunity here to continue to pave a, a different way, maybe in some ways forward, on the county board, perhaps. Correct. Okay. <laughs> I guess that really wasn't a question, but I was just kind of saying that and you agreed. Okay, there we go. What do you think are the, we've talked about the opportunities, what about challenges for District 6, uh, moving right now or even looking ahead maybe short term? Are there some challenges to, to face here? Well, in speaking at, with public mm -hmm. officials, um, I, I do know that like the, in the Circle Pines area, the Rice Creek Northern mm -hmm. Regional Trail, mm -hmm. there's a, a big chunk of that missing mm -hmm. right in Circle Pines. Um, I would love to work on that to get that um, completed for them. Mm -hmm. An another issue that was brought up when I was up in Linwood is that there are people there that work out of their home and they do not have reliable internet. Mm. I think that's a big issue and I would love to work on that for them. Along with the uh, working on the Anoka County Jail, um, public safety is a huge issue with me. 
All right, those are things maybe that you're hearing from people <clears throat> already as you've been, Correct. as you said, going to different city councils or the township or or just meeting with people, and you're going to continue, obviously, doing that through uh, election election day and things yes. like that. It, th those are the kinds of issues you're hearing from them? Yes. Okay. And I will continue do, to do that even after I am elected. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I understand. So a couple big picture questions here to kind of wrap things up. Where do you see Anoka County <clears throat> as a whole in 20 years' time? 20 years' time? Well, I hope the corridor is a huge success. I would love to have worked on that and felt proud to have that completed. Um, internet better be in Linwood by then, yeah. um, along with other things. Um, I really want to see a lot of investment come to Anoka County, and I would think by then we would have succeeded in that. Okay. And certainly in 20 years' time, Anoka County has changed. The District 6 certainly has changed in that mm -hmm. time rapidly with growth and with infrastructure and things. District 6 specifically, do you see any specific things in 20 years that you would like? I mean, you mentioned those things, but mm -hmm. um, in terms of any other kind of economic or socioeconomic makeup or anything specific for the district beyond what you mentioned? Well, I believe when that corridor... Right expands and, and investors come into that, we will have more of a um, technology mm -hmm. workforce. Techn mm -hmm. um, and I can see the, the, it being built up and Linwood might not want to hear that mm -hmm. because I know those people are really proud to have those, the big acreage and mm -hmm. things like that. In fact, if I can just sure. add this, yeah, sure. because I thought this was so interesting. Uh -huh. um, when I was speaking to residents of Linwood, I found out that there are homestead properties there from before the Civil War. Wow. And that when the soldiers went into the Civil right. War and right. when they came back, some of their comrades came with them because these yeah. soldiers had talked so highly yeah. of Linwood. Yeah. So I know they're very, very proud of what they have in Linwood, and it is very, very unique. Okay. Thank you very much, Cindy, mm -hmm. for, for sharing those uh, with us. And uh, as you move on towards Election Day, we appreciate your time today. Well, thank you very, very much. And I hope the people watching this will remember how important this election is. It's a special election. The turnout might not be as good as a, a regular election, but it is very, very important to vote and I hope you'll see that I'm the right candidate for this position. Okay, Cindy Hanson, thank you very much. Thank you, Rusty.